Also, the difference between combat and self-defense is when I get in a self-defense situation, it is normally just me. Maybe I have somebody with me. Normally, I don't have my AK-47 with me. Uh, now, and the reason is, it's unexpected. I'm not preparing to go to combat. That's why it's self-defense. Now, this is what I was talking about. Police and military, when they get in a situation, that's why they see, in their minds, they see it as combat. M military people see and understand and know what true combat is. Police, in their minds, they look at it as a degree of combat also. And that's right. That's why when they get into a situation, you notice they bring their friends with them, <laughs> you know. And uh, if this situation just appears, you notice the first thing they do is get on the radio and call their friends. <laughs> okay. And also, their friends are well armed. <laughs> okay. That is, and they have their arms with them. That is called uh, a combat situation. So, but they try to, in their minds, they try to look at it as, well, it's just, I'm defending myself. You're not defending yourself. And that's why they have a, police, uh, mainly police have a hard time understanding when I talk about weapons, when I talk about tactics, uh, when I talk about stuff like that, because it's, it's, it's a whole nother world than what they understand. And like I say, they carry a firearm with them all the time. Most of the time. I mean, some of them, I guess they don't carry it when they're on off duty. Okay. I, in the United States, I carry at least one firearm with me all the time when I'm in the United States. I used to only carry one. But after I got in the shooting with the street gang in the convenience store, uh, I was I was concerned I was go I wasn't going to have enough ammunition to handle all of them. So then I started carrying two. Uh, I don't carry a magazine, a spare magazine, because in self-defense you don't have that much time. Okay. Now, when do you draw the line between self-defense and combat? When I am in the United States, we're going to use the firearms. When I'm in the United States, I'm carrying a firearm in the convenience store. The guy comes in to rob the convenience store. And then he turned on me. And when he turned on me, I defended myself. I pulled the gun up and I shot him. He already had his gun out. It just, I was, my tactics are better than his tactics. And um, right when I shot him, he went down and there was another one at the door. I went for the other one at the door. I did not shoot him. I could have, but I didn't. Okay. When the first guy with the gun, when I, when I shot him, that was self-defense. A, a one second maybe if it's that long I had my gun up I was prepared for a gun fight that's where the guy at the door said he didn't want to play anymore he wasn't prepared for a gun fight he came in prepared to rob and not get in a gun fight okay I was prepared to uh, defend myself and since there was more than one, I had to change it over to a combat type thing. And I did. I went out the door and I was expecting the one guy that got out, I was expecting him to go to the car with the rest of the gang members. And then that's when I knew I was going to have problems because I didn't have enough ammunition for the whole gang. The good thing was he was running down the street. <laughs> so, uh, so that was the good part. 
at that time. Afterwards, we'll, let's see, like um, three and a half minutes later, uh, that guy, well, I don't know if that guy was back, but the guy I shot, all of his friends and family were back, more than 20. I didn't have enough firepower on my body to handle that much of a volume. I, I still did have, but not on my person. So in other words, it changed from self-defense to a combat situation. This is the way why I teach the way I teach. And that's why some people don't grasp the difference between combat and self-defense. Uh, and a lot, I know most people think of self-defense when somebody punches you in the face. Uh, for me, I can use the exercise. I, 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 that would be fun. <laughs> uh, I'm not that concerned about one person with no fire or no weapon. I, I would find it more fun. I've done this before too. And I limit how much pain I'm going to put on them. Because they weren't, they come at me in a combat type situation, in other words, they attacked me, but without a weapon. So it was more of a, a macho thing or bully thing or something like that. So it really, even though it was in a combat type situation, I mean, in his mind, and coming to me, it turns, it's a self-defense. And uh, see, so that's the, the, the difference between us. When I was training SWAT teams, people, they don't understand what I was doing training SWAT teams. Uh, I specialize in hostage rescue. And uh, what it was is counter-terror and hostage rescue. In other words, uh, I would come into a place, uh, we would use banks, I mean we would consider it a bank, I've done restaurants, because I had a restaurant so we did a lot of restaurants, uh, schools, uh, we've done stuff like that. I held hostages. Uh oh, telephone, wait. When I was training SWAT teams, uh, they would have to uh, come in to me. Like I say, um, like the restaurant. I would, I would hold hostages in the restaurant and they would have to come in the restaurant however they're gonna do. They were able to practice tactics and techniques that uh, that they wouldn't be able to practice um, in real life. Uh, they'll be able to use them in real life if they're good, but they, they some tactics, some techniques you need to practice, and uh, that's why I say I I practice two or three times a day on using basic simple things. And oh, you see right now, you see I'm, I'm wearing my backpack. Okay, I am fixing to uh, travel. I'm going to be on the road a, a little different way than I normally do. And I, I have this particular backpack for that reason. It's smaller. I can defend myself wearing this. So, and I practice with it. So... There's, uh, there's things we can do, but uh, we need to practice at it in the way of self-defense. Uh, the, the people in combat, they practice, you see, especially now they do, the, nowadays the, the, well, the urban warfare is the, is the cool thing, that's what you see on the movies. And, and uh, a lot of the stuff, Afghanistan stuff, that's what they're doing. They're going house to house and this type of stuff. That takes different types of, it's a combat tactics, but it's a little bit different. That's what the SWAT teams were doing to me. They would come in using that type, but the thing is, they know when they're coming into my building that it is a combat situation. In, uh, in urban warfare, a lot of times they're going room to room, building to building, and they don't know what to expect. 
And so, but when they when they're training with me, they know what to expect. I I, uh, I do counter terror work, and it's not a combat stuff. It's uh, it's situational awareness, and it's I don't know how you call it, but I make situations happen. Uh, like I say. Uh, and I use it as a, a tactic. In other words, I can make a simple situation more high stressful. The more stress it is, the less likely your combat skills will work as well as they should when you are stressed out. And so uh, it's done in the same thing in sports. They if they can get you all excited, all, all mad, and all this kind of stuff, you're not focused, and you won't be able to make that basket. You know, you won't be able to, you won't be able to catch that football when they throw it to you. But if, you're, if you can stay calm, you can be able to do it. But if they make you stressful, it's you, less likely you're gonna make it. I do the same thing in a um, uh, combat situation. And I say, it starts with um, self-defense. Self-defense is a reaction. It happens that fast. Like I say, self-defense happens in, in, in a part of a second is when self-defense starts. And that's why your awareness around you, you need to see it. And then when you say, hey, this doesn't look good. This looks like I'm gonna have to defend myself. You're giving yourself some time to uh, get your mindset right. So uh, that's why situational awareness uh, helps you out in situations like that. And that person that's getting raised to uh, mug you or uh, uh, the, the gang that's getting ready to strike, I mentioned they came to my house, okay, they already have a plan. Their mindset is already they are coming. So uh, for them, it's different. Like I say, it's a combat. For, for us, self-defense for the first split of a second, and then after we survive the initial attack, it goes into a combat mode. And, uh, but, I'm sorry, that's the best I could do, try and explain the difference between combat and self-defense. This is Mike, nostressmike.com.